come back to the city. Hey, 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 I'm the Global Cherry, and I will be covering the biggest Dying Light 2 update, potential DLC content, and cut content. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show. Oh! In patch 1.3.0, we'll be getting a new game plus. Techland recently released a trailer on the new game plus, as well as other upcoming events. Alright, let's go. We will now be able to restart the game after the markers of Plague Quest and make new story choices with equipment, skills, character statistics, and weapons we have. We'll be able to go through the story with revitalized mechanisms like new enemy behaviors or more difficult encounters. But you won't get the paraglider, UV light, or grappling hook from the start because those are main story items. You will also lose your crossbow upon starting New Game Plus. You're like Big Chungus' little cousin. Oh, you're still alive! We can keep our progression, but enemies scale with our level, so we cannot harass level 1 zombies as a level 9 player. They've also added 30 new inhibitors in Dying Light 2 to max both Aiden's stamina and health equally. An additional thing they've added to the new game plus was new parkour challenges where experienced players can complete for the platinum medal. Really too many people are unlocking the gold medals. Yeah, the players are just far more skilled than we even expected, so we decided to add the platinum medals. So nice. they can compete with the best of the best. Uh huh. So next level. Half of you probably don't care about that. When you're doing New Game Plus, your friends can join your game, but they won't see the inhibitors. Since this is the biggest update of all time, we'll be getting an increased zombie spawn rate. So things are about to get crazy. There are also special infected roaming around Villador in a mutated infected event, and hunting them will earn you a new legendary weapon rarity. A new quest has also been added to Something Big Has Been Here mission, including the special elemental goon variants. Woo! Whoa, whoa, whoa! The knights are much more dangerous now as volatiles and banshees patrol the rooftops, so we don't have the high ground anymore. Co-op issues are also fixed in this patch like connection issues and there is also an FOV slider for next-gen consoles. PS4, you're gonna have to wait. Enemies with bows are now less annoying with decreased damage output. After complaints about enemies taking half our health bar, Teclan is showing us some mercy. Fast travel is fixed, the infected are no longer invulnerable to arrows, the grappling hook has been tweaked, and there are no missing rewards after bandit encounters. As for the new community events, from April 28th to May 2nd, we will get double XP. From May 5th to 9th, we will get a trove of crystals. And from May 12th to 16th, we will have a blue moon event where we have enhanced night infection immunity and chemical resistance. From May 19th to 23rd, we can catapult our enemies in hyper mode. There's a lot in the future for Dying Light 2. As for potential DLC content, Dying Light 2 could have a potential arena or horde mode according to a leak covered by Oni Zombies. If this really is a DLC leak and Techland is sniping from afar, it was nice knowing you! In a 40-page leak, it features a potential Elysium mission where Aiden has an interaction with Kurt. He was the character who tried to kill us with Jared Leto in Dying Light 2. In exchange for a GRE terminal, Kurt asks Aiden to rescue his son Figaro in the Opera House from a woman named Astrid. He said he freed his people, the Mamertines, from the invasion of the infected in the Opera House, but Astrid took control of the Opera House lying to people about Kurt. Kurt also says that Astrid turned the safe haven into a deadly fighting arena and kidnapped his son. Aiden must challenge Astrid into a fight in the arena and beat her in order to usurp her from the position of chieftain. To free Figaro, Aiden has to disable the arena's security to enter the opera house undetected. Aiden registers for the tournament, and the boxing announcer challenges him to prove himself by fighting at the La Buerta Arena, the peacekeeper ship at Sergeant Allen's, or Black Peter's at the Fisheye Canteen. 
win at two of these places and he secures his spot in the tournament. After proving himself, he must choose between fighting the Infected, Warriors, or Astrid, but choosing the third option will not do anything. Aiden is later guided to a bookmaker named Dave, who bets on fights and can make Aiden a lot of coins. After going through three rounds of fighting and winning over the hearts of the crowd, Aiden then must choose his arena name as a sacred tradition. Will you choose Immortal, Death Slayer, or Usurper? There better be a line where Aiden says, Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? He sneaks into the control room before the next fight for the Fagara rescue mission, but runs into a guy named Hammer not letting him pass. Aiden wagers with Hammer to let him in the control room if he beats the next contestant. He also finds out from Dave that Kurt's son Figaro is actually a GRE security system. Kurt was not popular among the Mamer teens and was going through a psychotic break. Makes sense. After fighting the Invincible Mutilator, Astrid acknowledges Aiden's impressive performance in the arena and reveals that Kurt's GRE system caused a swarm of 100 infected in the shelter. Aiden needs help getting to the GRE terminal and Astrid offers to help him. If Aiden yields in his fight with Astrid, he will shut Figaro down and fight Kurt in a boss battle. If Aiden beats Astrid, Aiden will become the arena's master, but Kurt will attempt to slaughter the Mamertines. It's really interesting how our programmer friend evolved into this killing machine. He helped us in exchange for friendship and we fed him to the infected. Rest in pieces, Kurt. You overcame my traps, defeated my defenses. Let's trust one another, Aiden. That will be my reward. If some of you are upset about this game leak, just letting you know, this might or might not be a leak. For all we know, this could be cut content. Oh my god! Ah! Teclan had crazy ideas for a Dying Light 2 version of the following. They originally had various animal breeds in mind, as well as a Nightrunner difficulty. Speaking of animals, where's the doggo Jonah mentioned? Also, thanks to Bub, the MVP of all Dying Light YouTubers, I was able to learn more about cut content in Dying Light 2. Bub, tell me honestly. Do you work for Techland? His video showed deleted dialogue about a group of people called nomads who are archers that supposedly raised Loan. The cut content also featured an airship to be flown over Villador, a group of people called Crystal Divers, and Aiden's controlled fury to go crazy on people as he pleases. You're not going anywhere! Ah! Aiden could also barricade zombies, use a shield, and use extra melees like a nunchaku, a hellbard, and a flail. The real question is, is this really cut content? Or content Teclan is saving for later? Maybe for a DLC? We'll find out soon, although I heard June's DLC is rather small scale. Also, Glorious, I haven't forgotten about your request to make a UV lamp farming video, so this is for you, buddy. After purchasing the blueprint from the vendor, you'll find the materials for the lamp such as 20 scrap, 5 resin, 3 pigments, and 1 oxidizer. So we have one oxidizer here. We'll purchase it. We'll also purchase the pigments they have and go back to sleep. Every time you sleep and wake up, the vendor always have new items for you, including crafting materials. Ah, that was a great 12 hour nap. Ah, see, we have more pigments. I'll let you know how many UV lamps I'm able to craft after 30 minutes. So before I began this UV lamp farming method, I was only able to craft five UV bars. Now I'm able to craft 20. Honestly, I don't really have a purpose for these. But, there is one purpose that I'm thinking of using it on. If you need coins and you haven't started New Game Plus yet, use the method from my previous video. Harass the crystal meth zombie in the sunken city. Well, my pilgrims, will New Game Plus bring you back to Dying Light 2? Or will you wait for the DLC? If you enjoyed the video and want more of this content, feel free to subscribe to join the family, like the video, and comment what you think about New Game Plus and this update. Thank you for watching, and that's all.